segment with another new recipe for you to try at home. Hi, today I'm going to show something very special. Very special is the curry powder. A lot of people use it, but not many people know what goes in it. So let's go and see the what is the basic curry powder is going to be. So here's it. Coriander seeds, cumin seeds, mustard seeds, fennel seeds, red rice, pandana leaves, cinnamon sticks, curry leaves. So these are the ingredients. So in Sri Lanka, we call it tunapaha, which means three and five. So which means we got three leaves and barks and five seeds. Okay, most important ingredient is um, coriander seeds. So you can one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we have had eight spoonful of coriander seeds. You can smell the coriander now. So it's nicely golden roasted. So I take it out. Then skimming. One, two, three, four. Half. So you gotta be very careful. It's gonna burn very fast. As you can see, I add four spoonful of cumin seeds because we're adding only half of the coriander amount. So that's ready now. As you can see, it's unroasted. Goes in together with coriander. And then fennel seed, same. Four. Doesn't take that long to roast them because now I can smell the beautiful flavors. Now look at that. So the mustard seed again, four spoonful. So as you know, when you fry mustard, it's gonna go all over. So make sure you put a lid around so that way it won't flow over. There you go, doesn't take that long to roast him. It's mustard's ready. Now the rice, again, four spoonful. You can, you can use the red rice, the best. But if you don't have red rice, you can use the white rice. Rice gives you that thickness to the curry powder. That's why you use rice, and also a nice body to it. And if you like, you can add more rice, but I like to add the recipe that I like. So the rice is now ready. Okay, now my leaves and barks, pandan leaves, cinnamon barks. And curry leaves. Give it a nice stir. As you can see, it's not going to take that long to roast these leaves. But when you're cooking at home, you can get that beautiful, beautiful smell. That's what's all about the curry powder, sir. The flavors, the fragrance, so that's where your curries or your whatever you're making is going to be taste. So now these are my main ingredients. So if you want to add any other flavors, let's say that cardamom, cloves, peppercorns, fenugreek, different flavors you can add the way you like it, the way you like to taste it. So I'm gonna add a little bit of cardamom pods and some cloves and a tiny bit of fenugreek. Be easy with fenugreek, but they're very bitter. 
where these ones give beautiful extra taste and the flavor. So now all the ingredients are roasted and ready for a dark curry powder. So then now I'm gonna roast it, put it into a grinder. So as you can see, a curry powder is a, such a simple thing to make and it's fresh, it's nice and whole house smell beautiful. So this is the roasted curry powder, which I roast all the ingredients to make it darker, which we normally use it for meat curries and make it the curry it looks darker. And if you really want to make a lighter curry powder, please don't roast it. So you can just grind the same ingredients and you'll end up with a nice light color curry powder. So that's all for the day. We we'll see you with a new recipe next week. Bye for now. Culinary Corner brought to you by Dilma Tea, the finest tea on earth. I am a farmer and unlike a trader, I grow tea. I promise to bring you the perfect cup of pure salon tea so you can enjoy real tea the way it used to be. Return to real tea with Dilma.